the 2018 Chevy Equinox has it all. It has style, it has technology, performance, and safety. It does have it all. Plus, it has a lot of interior space. Yeah, climb in, take the wheel, and let the Chevy Equinox carry. I'm very excited because today I am at the Whole Foods Market Culinary Center right here in Legacy Place in Dedham, Massachusetts, with a great chef. Mr. Christopher Anderson, who's the VP of food for Clover. So thanks for being here. Thanks for inviting us out. All right, a big claim sure. for fame for you is that you were the executive chef of The Rock. Is this real life? That was my previous life before Clover, <laughs> absolutely. What a life that was. What was that like? He's an amazing person and uh, it, was, it was just fun to, to be a part of that to success. I imagine that he kept a very strict diet. Very, very strict. Um, everything was measured and weighed and uh, it was all calculated. I bet that was quite the experience. Okay, so for now we're gonna focus on Clover. Clover has 12 brick and mortar locations. You have a couple food trucks running around. You have a partner with Whole Foods Market. It's in Sudbury and... Westford. What's Clover all about? Clover's a fast casual restaurant is what we call it. So you can come in and get a sandwich, french fries, soup, uh, or a drink and they're rotating basically every day, every week, and every month. We're gonna make popovers today? Absolutely. Okay, all right, so so far you've gotten some eggs started. I'm gonna crack all 12 eggs in the bowl. What would you suggest, doing it like I outside? Like oh, okay. Crack it on the flat <laughs> surface. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, there we go, I got Eddie. one. No shells, kid, no shells. No matter what, when you're here at Whole Foods, you're getting eggs that are cage-free. It's a great thing that you can know so you never have to worry about that. You can just feel good knowing that you're getting good quality eggs, right? Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna take a whisk and we wanna pop the yolks with the whisk. Then we're gonna add uh, our salt and sugar. Cool. So we just wanna add that in. Then we're okay. gonna add our milk. Nice. How much milk? It's five cups. Nice. All right, so we have a dry bowl here with a double mesh sieve. We're gonna add our AP flour. The fat flour, oh nice, okay. It's actually gonna aerate it a little bit and add some loft to the popovers. And then we're gonna add this to the wet ingredients. Now you don't wanna overwork the batter, so I'm gonna just stop when you see very small lumps in it. And it's really important that you let the, the batter sit for 10 or 15 minutes to warm up a little bit. That's the most critical step in making a popover. Okay. So you have to have a hot preheated oven, Okay. a hot popover pan. Mm -hmm. So the oven's preset to 400. Okay. I just cut some knobs of butter, it's about two teaspoons a piece. Okay. We're gonna pop one in each. What it's gonna do is it's gonna lubricate the side of the pan so that popover batter can just rise gently up the sides. So we're gonna make sure that butter gets nice and hot. So we're gonna put back in for two or three minutes. All right, so now I can smell the butter. And you actually hear it mm, crackling. Yes, you do. All right, so we're gonna take our popover batter and it's really important that you pour in the center of the popover pan because it's gonna hit that butter and the butter's gonna coat the sides. So we're gonna fill these up two thirds of the way. So 15 minutes at 400, and then you lower it to? 350. For how long? For another 15 minutes. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let the popovers cool for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna move them over and uh, serve them. So we'll take a popover. Nice. And just have a side of jam. And it's delicious with jam or butter. Oh, can I go into it? Go for it. Unbelievable. Oh, the marmalade is spectacular. Cool. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, Jane. Clover's lucky to have you. If you want to come here to Whole Foods Culinary Center, it's available here in the Legacy location, right in Dedham, Massachusetts. It's a pretty great operation, huh? I love it. It's been fantastic. All Thanks right. for inviting us. Thanks, buddy.